Before you start smashing this wall apart with your hammer, make sure you've got the regular protection, right? Dusk mask, safety glasses, and I like to use a cheap pair of gloves just to keep my hands nice and baby soft. Before you get started, make sure the electricity is turned off. And uh, I'm using an electrical outlet tester. I go over to the circuit breaker and make sure the electricity is off. And then I can move on with taking off the outlet covers and the light switch covers and the you know, HVAC ducts, anything that's screwed into the wall. Now I can take the baseboard and all the trim off. And if you want to use the trim later, use a pry bar and a putty knife or a 5-in-1 tool to carefully take off the trim. And then I take the nails out from behind with a pair of uh, wire cutters to prevent the damage to the trim. So take your knife and push pretty hard and make a couple passes if you have to and run right down through that corner like that. That'll break the seal and then this wall and this wall are now divided and when we take this wall down it won't rip off the paper from this wall and you'll have a nice clean line that you can work with later. Okay. What I want to try to do is get behind there and pry it off. Now you can use a bunch of different things. You can use a sawzall like this, which has a blade that moves very quickly and will do a lot of demolition. It also makes a lot of dust. You can use a jab saw, known as maybe a drywall saw. Basically this has a sharp point on the end of it that's made for digging into the wall, digging into the wall, and then you can physically move it and the blade <coughs> is similar to this. Now, when I'm taking this saw across through here, I'm being very, very careful not to go too deep. Because if I do go, if I push it in really deep like that, I could cut through wires, I could cut through ductwork, which I have right here on the other side of this, or I could end up cutting through, you know, a pipe or electrocuting myself in some way. So I turn my knife to this depth like this. So that I'm only cutting, the drywall is only a half of an inch deep, so I only want to cut a half of an inch deep. Now this is glued on. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a large bead of glue which means this is going to be a lot more difficult to get off in one sheet. Your goal is really to get your fingers behind that first piece. And to do that I'm using a pry bar to gently coax the drywall away from that first stud so I can give a good pull on it. Now it snaps at the first stud, but that's kind of normal for your first piece. Don't worry, you'll get bigger pieces later. And there's that ductwork I was talking about. You gotta be careful when you're cutting through the walls. If you encounter nails, pop them out if you can and just it'll help you get started on the piece. And then once you get it started, you can really heave ho on it. And I'm not sure if you'll notice, but in the corner, when I pull this away, it's nice and clean. That edge is perfectly clean because we cut it with a razor knife from the other wall. So now I've got all my sheets out here in the garage. I have the door closed so the dust won't go inside. And all I have to do is take my razor knife and just score the paper with it and it'll snap into pieces. And I'll show you what I mean. Please be careful when you're doing this. You have a very sharp knife in your hand and the last thing you want to do is cut your leg or your foot or your hand. So I always keep my body out of the way when I'm making my marks. And you should probably do the same thing unless you'd like to go to the hospital. There you go, throw them right in the garbage bag, put a zip tie on it, and you're good to go. Don't make the bags too heavy. They get really heavy really quick. Do not put drywall outside and let it sit there for any extended period of time. It's just gonna turn into mush and you're gonna have one heck of a mess in your hands. If you put them in garbage bags, you can let it sit outside and wait for the trash to come and you don't have to worry about it. Or you can pick them up and take them to the dump if you're lucky enough to have one near you. But uh, get a good quality, heavy duty garbage bag. If you're sick and tired of spending too much money on your energy bills, stop by my website at howtohomeinsulation.com. You'll find the videos and information you need to start saving money on your energy bills right now. My name's Corey Binford. Thanks for watching.